Next question is from Ernie Meyer. What do you think about carnivore or meat-based protein powders? I love them. I think they're great, like other protein powders. I don't know if I've had them. They're not bad. You know what? The, you know Be- what's beef-based protein? Yeah, you know powder? what's you know what's good about them. Now, there's always there's always, of course, supplement companies like to do this. They like to compare proteins. Which yeah. one's better? Which one has a better amino acid profile? Okay, here's what the there's a couple things we need to consider. If your protein intake is high, it kind of doesn't matter. So, like for example, plant protein versus animal protein. Animal protein far more effective at stimulating muscle growth and recovery. However, if the protein is high enough, it stops. It stops mattering. It really doesn't matter anymore. This is true for all proteins. Now, what's the benefit of meat-based protein powder? There's a lot of people that are that have digestive issues from, yeah. in particular, whey protein or well, dairy protein. I, I feel like that's how you would want to kind of assess yes. whether or not like it's a good fit for you is like how well you receive and digest it. Uh, and you know, and in terms of like getting protein from natural sources and from you know your diet specifically is always going to you know far su- surpass like getting it from protein powders but yeah to be able to you know assimilate it and, and be able to digest it properly would be like a priority also if you like it i mean that's one of the reasons why i continually still use ways that it I, tastes good yeah, it tastes good yeah. it's like if, if if i have like the, it's the end of the night you're right? a big taste guy yeah i am a big taste guy it's <laughs> like if it's the end of the night and i am a little under on my protein intake and my stomach's ground i'm watching movies and i want to go down i'm like oh i really want to go get some popcorn right now and i'm like damn it i know i should i should what i should do is i need more protein i'm not gonna make myself a meal okay i should probably go have a shake the <laughs> The less I like taking that shake, the less likely I am going to do it in that situation. True. And the more likely, I'm not going to go have my my protein powder that is chalky and flavorless. And even though it's healthier and better for me, and the mm-hmm. science supports that it's this is that much better than this protein by two percent, if I don't like it, and it, it, I'm not going to, I'm not likely to make that decision in that moment. And I know that that decision is more important to me than the the splitting hair difference between all the different protein powders. Mm-hmm. If I don't enjoy it and I don't like it at all and I'm and I have a moment like that which these moments happen quite often in in a in a lifetime, I want something that I'm like, "Oh yeah, you know what? I'll go make my my peanut butter banana whey protein shake that I like. Like I could do that instead Dude, of my I rem- and that's I rem- happened to me a lot of times, that exact scenario I just painted. That's a great you. way to use it. That's how I think most people should use protein yeah. powders. Rather than relying on them throughout the day, end of day, how much more do I need? And then you you take it. I remember once as a kid buying and I never did this again, strawberry flavored protein powder. And they don't really make them that often, right? They yeah. don't anymore. It's Why always chocolate that? vanilla because it's gross. It's, yeah, it's never it good. Awful. I liked the uh, the Myoplex one back in the day. Oh, I mean I like, strawberry milk though. Yeah. I love strawberry milk. Actually so that's why I like. Oh my it. god, I forgot about that. Yeah, oh, Nestle. Oh, I, oh, I think it, if they could have made it like that, then I would have been in. But it never tasted like that. No, but yeah, I remember I had it and it was totally disgusting. Here's the, okay. Here's where protein quality matters. If your protein intake is low, so if you're somebody that doesn't eat your 0.6 grams of protein per pound of body weight or more. Now you want to start to pay attention to protein quality. So, and where is this? Well, you say that a lot. Does that mean like, okay, let's say, let's just say my, my number's 200. I need to hit and I'm at 170 and I'm debating between vegan or meat source yeah. or whey. Then they're all three going to take me up to 200. Is it all equal at that point? Or yes. are you talking about if I, if now- you take it and you're still low. Okay, yeah. so that's where it matters. If the total is under, because and again, the studies point to generally about 0. 0.6 grams per pound of body weight. So in other words, lean same scenario, but I'm at 75 grams It'll a day. It'll take you to 100. And this will only take me to 100. If I'm going to definitely be under on my protein, it does make a difference on which one is more valuable in that case. Yes, yeah, so this is, for example, we talked to somebody a while ago who her kidney, she only had one kidney, and her nephrologist said, you can't eat more. Then right. I think 60 grams of protein. In that case, it makes sense. Or let's say you're a vegan, or maybe not even a vegan, or you know somebody who just eats a low protein diet, because vegans will always have plant proteins. Then then it makes a lot of sense. But if your protein intake's high, it, it honestly doesn't matter. And if your protein intake's high, the number one thing you should focus on is digestibility. How well does this, does this digest? Does it make me feel okay? 
in that case, it makes the you know that that's that's the thing that makes the biggest difference. But Pro- if you're hitting your high protein, it, it doesn't make it. Supplement companies have done such a good job at promoting uh, bars and shakes that I know people that will. This was really uh, popular in the you know um, bodybuilding community where they'll be at their protein intake and the, over, and they'll still eat bars and shakes yep. on top of that. I'm like, what a waste of money! Like, why would you do that? I know. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I mean, think okay, when whey protein became a thing. Uh, in the supplement space. Designer protein was one of the first ones to come out. And it was this big thing. And oh my God, whey protein, it's so high in glutamine. It's so high in branched amino acids. And it's true. It's one of the highest quality proteins on a gram per gram basis versus anything else. Other companies had to figure out how to differentiate themselves. So what'd they do? Oh, well, we have whey protein isolate. Uh, we have pre-digested whey protein. We have you know whey protein hydro- hydrolysate or whatever. And oh no, it's fast absorbing. You need protein before bed that's slow absorbing. Slow, yeah. Casein is Casein. the way to do. This is just how they differentiate themselves. But if your protein intake's high, it doesn't matter. Really doesn't make a difference at all. Take the one that works with uh, best. Excuse me, with your digestion. 